SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 12 in the NFL. We're talking right now with Al McMorty from BigAl.com, who's kicking ass in lots of sports this year, every sport except for college football. Al, thanks for being back with us. Always good to be here, Peter. All right, before we get into uh, Jets and Baltimore, brag a little bit about uh, all the sports you are kicking ass in at BigAl.com this year. <laughs> we, we won't mention college football, but NFL has been going great. Last season, documented number one in the country by the Sports Monitor. We cast 77% of our NFL top plays last season. This season, on all our NFL selections, 46 and 26. Mm. I think that's 63%. It's just been a dream season again in the NFL. On Monday, we kind of put the cherry on top of the Sunday with our Monday Night Football game of the year on the Carolina Panthers. And, hey, I'll take all the help from Zebras I can get. I'm not going to give the money back after that uh, After that game. That was just a debacle at the end. But Carolina gets the cash, and that's all we really care about. Having another terrific season in hockey. A lot of people don't like to play hockey just because they don't know the sport. Yeah. That's a mistake. You know, we're this, this year we're 30 and 11 in hockey. We ended last year on a 51 and 26 run in hockey. You know, put it together, that's 81 and 37. Doesn't get much better than that. There's yeah. easy yeah. profits to be made in hockey. People should really take, you know, look at the sport if they're not doing so already. Sounds great, Al. Very impressive. At 46 and 26 in these tough NFL lines. That is one hell of an impressive record. Al McMorty. All right. Jets at Baltimore is, uh, is the game we're going to discuss right now. And, you know, the last game we discussed, Tennessee-Oakland, you kind of gave a pick that felt a little bit contrarian and felt, uh, you know, like it was a sharp side. And I'm thinking maybe you'll do the same thing here. Baltimore is a three and a half or four point home favorite. And of course the Jets, I mean, geez, what would Geno Smith's quarterback rating last game was like 7.2 or something like that. I mean, what the, it's just a complete disaster, but you know, is he primed to bounce back? Maybe, I guess that's the big question here. My sense is looking at this line, it feels like Baltimore is going to be a huge public side and maybe the Jets will be the sharp side. What do you like here, Al? I love the Jets, Peter. Right. You know, this, and if people can watch the videos we do they know that like we mentioned the tennessee open thing i like unusual events and look what happened last week with the new york jets and the jets are actually an interesting case study this year because they keep going back and forth win lose win lose win lose they're five and five on the season for the last five weeks we've successfully played on or against the jets just alternating wins and losses last week we had to play a big play on the buffalo bills and buffalo was a two and a half point underdog in that ball game and they won outright by 24 points. And, you know, so when you have a team that was favored, that then has a big loss, especially a good team, like a team that has a win percentage of 450 or better, and then when they lose by more than 10 points when they were favored, well, then if they come as an underdog the next week, these teams are terrific. 117 wins, just 69 losses against the spread since 1980. That's the situation here. Those numbers are too hard to ignore. I'm going to take the Jets to rebound again and once again alternate the wins and losses as they've been doing all season long. And I'm going to take the Jets plus the points over Baltimore. All right, so this is interesting. So let's discuss uh, this game specifically, though. I mean, you know, you look at your historical data and each game, you know, that, that contributed to that historical data, you know, uh, had its own unique situations. And here, obviously, the big question mark is, can Geno Smith bounce back? And so you're just saying that uh, you're not even going to consider that. Just look at the historical data and, and go with what the historical data says. Well, well it's, and, and it's not just Geno Smith. It's the whole team. And, 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 and the teams tend to bounce back. That's, they don't bounce back 100% of the time. That's why you have 69 losses in the set. But when you have a team that is, again, a good team, or at least a decent team, 450 win percentage or better, they get killed as a favorite, and then they're an underdog the next week, they do bounce back. Mm -hmm. 117 wins, 69 losses against the spread. And if you just look, you know, just specifically this season, Geno Smith's been bouncing back all year. Good game, bad game, good game, bad game. Right. That's what the Jets have done all year, so why not once more? Sounds like a very, very sharp analysis to me, uh, Al. Like in the uh, Jets plus four. Thanks. Talk to you again next week.